Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your Cayenne Genius terminal to Lightspeed. The first step after you've connected all of the wiring is to make sure that the Genius terminal is properly connected to your local area network and to obtain the IP address. To do so, on the Genius terminal itself, enter 000 into the number pad. You will be asked to enter in the admin password, which is the same for all terminals. That password is 9416557. Then hit the green circle key. On this screen, the admin screen, you'll see the IP address listed at the very top of the screen. Now, if you don't see an IP address here, it means that the Genius Terminal is not properly connected to your network. And you're going to want to double check that the Ethernet cable is properly plugged into the router. Assuming you have an IP address, be sure to take it down, as we'll be needing it later. We'll also want to test the gateway communication with Cayenne. To do so, simply tap the Network button, followed by the Test button. You should see some results fairly quickly, assuming everything has passed. If it's taking a little while, you can probably expect that it's going to fail, in which case the first step would be to restart the terminal. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And the second step, if you continue to have an IP address pulling from the network, but you're failing your gateway communication tests, would be to call Cayenne Technical Support. Assuming that your tests have passed, you can hit the Done button, and then the Back button to return to the admin screen. If you do need to restart the terminal, you can do so using this Restart button right here. To return to normal operation, simply hit the red X button to return to the Genius by Cayenne screen. The next step will be to install the security certificate for the Cayenne Genius terminal in your browser. To do so, simply navigate to the website found in the help article. In Firefox, you'll see this pop up. Simply click the first of the three trust checkboxes and then click OK. The certificate is automatically installed in your browser. To install the security certificate in Google Chrome, once again, simply navigate to the website found in the help article, and your certificate will be automatically downloaded. Click on the download from your recent downloads bar at the bottom of the screen, and you'll be taken on a Mac to the keychain access where you can click Always Trust in order to trust the certificate. If you are installing the security certificate on Google Chrome on a Windows PC, clicking on the certificate will open up an installation wizard. Simply click Next on all of the default options in the wizard until you are finished. Now that we know that the Genius Terminal's connection is intact and that the security certificate has been installed in the browser, we're ready to input our Cayenne credentials and Genius IP address into Lightspeed. To do so, click on Settings, followed by Shop Setup. Select the location you're currently working in, followed by Credit Card. This is where you will select Cayenne from the Gateway drop-down menu, and you'll make sure that the Active Enabled checkbox is checked. This is what activates your integration, and then put the name, transaction key, and site ID here exactly as they have been supplied to you by Cayenne. If you want the ability to refund to cards that are new cards that are being swiped, you'll want to check the Allow Credits checkbox and then Save Changes. To add the terminal itself, click on Credit Card Terminals. This submenu only appears if the credentials are entered into Lightspeed first. We'll simply give the terminal a name. In this case, I'll call it Genius, but you can call it whatever you like and enter in the terminal's IP address. And then click Add Credit Card Terminal. Terminal will appear below, and you'll have a Check Status button to determine whether or not everything is properly connected. If everything has gone well, you'll see a status of Online. And then you should be good to go. But if you want to make sure, let's do a quick test transaction. We'll create a new sale. I'll add a miscellaneous test charge of $1. 
We'll click on payment, followed by credit debit. Here you'll be asked to select a payment terminal. You only need to select your Genius terminal the first time and then it will default to the Genius on all subsequent credit card payment attempts. Click Start Payment and you should see this Waiting for Payments screen. That concludes this video. Be sure to check out the Help Center for more information and videos.